Hi, Brockton residents and Brockton business owners. This is Mayor Robert Sullivan. It's my honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of the city of Brockton, the city of champions. This is the 26th, believe it or not, 26th episode of Our Brockton. The title speaks for itself, Our Brockton. It's our community, it's our home. And uh, every single time I come before you, I always have a distinguished guest, and uh, today is no exception, Mr. David Farrell. Dave, thank you for being here today. Thank you, Mayor, for having me. So if you don't know David Farrell, you're missing out. A uh, wonderful man, wonderful professional, dedicated to the city of Brockton, worked in the mayor's office, worked for the park, was in charge of the parking authority, and now probably one of the most important roles of his life. First of all, I want to thank you for your service to our nation. Thank you, Mayor. He's a proud veteran. Uh, I've never served a day in my life, but I thank God every day that the men and women that have, and of course, those that paid the ultimate sacrifice, and that's depicted behind us today at the War Memorial on West Elm Street. David is the Director of, of Veterans Services, Veterans Affairs here. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you, Mayor. Do you mind telling the viewers, David, because everything's been changed with COVID, but yes. the day-to-day -day operations, um, the men and women that come here that are, are veterans, um, you know, what, what services you provide them, and before that, a little bit about yourself would be great. Certainly, certainly, Mayor. Well, uh, as the mayor mentioned, I am a veteran of uh, the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I'm a peacetime veteran, meaning I served uh, during a time of non-combat uh, operations uh, between 1977 and 1983. Uh, I served down at Cherry Point, North Carolina for three years, as well as uh, Okinawa, Japan for a year, and uh, was a pilot uh, for uh, the C-130 squadron based at uh, uh, Cherry Point. Yeah, it was a wonderful time of life. Uh, my wife and I had just been married, and uh, two of our children were born in North Carolina. Uh, we just really loved our service, and uh, but of course enjoyed coming home to Massachusetts at the end of that and uh, settled here in Brockton uh, where she had grown up. And uh, we've been in Brockton since 1984. It's been a lovely time, and uh, the city has uh, been such a tremendous help to us and our family. You know, my, our four children have all uh, attended Brockton schools at one time or another and uh, gone on to you know college educated uh, lives and uh, 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 careers. Um, so as the mayor had mentioned I uh, came to uh, the city into the mayor's office in 2000. Uh, shortly after that uh, uh, we had that tragic occurrence of 9-11, uh, you know, uh, 2001, which uh, we'll be coming up on the 20th, 20th anniversary, anniversary next month. Uh, so after four years in the Mayor's Office of Constituent Services, uh, I was able to uh, be appointed by the Mayor with the City Council's approval to the Parking Authority, where I worked for four years, and uh, serving under Mayor Harrington. And then uh, following uh, Mayor Harrington's appointment to the uh, uh, veteran services I've been here for 12 years and uh, this is really as the mayor pointed out is the honor of my life really uh, serving veterans and uh, those who uh, need assistance uh, from the city uh, through uh, state funding of um, you know uh, the benefits that are afforded them and they're entitled to we uh, reach out and uh, uh, help veterans who are Brockton based as well as veterans who come to us from the Veterans Administration uh, on uh, Belmont Street, the VA hospital. Just a great facility, a great network of health care uh, that veterans can access uh, just by virtue of their service uh, to our nation. So uh, that said, uh, we have a pretty active office uh, because we're a large city, you know, and we have a lot of veterans you know, here in the city. I, I would guess right now the population is about 4,500. Uh, only a few World War II veterans uh, remaining, um, but uh, the, the, the largest uh, number of veterans that we serve are probably from the Vietnam era, and uh, those veterans are uh, uh, just wonderful people. You know, they served at a time when it wasn't really popular to serve in the uh, nation's military, and uh, I call them the quiet generation. Yeah. They uh, uh, came home quietly, and uh, they weren't really uh, respected the way veterans are nowadays by our, uh, our current uh, uh, population. So that's that's very gratifying to see that turnaround in uh, the public's perception of veterans and their service. Yeah, but one of the things that um, benefits the city as a whole, veterans and non-veterans, are the parades that you actually run point on, and, and I want to thank you. Um, I also want to thank you. Recently, uh, you spearheaded the, the banner program. Um, the first banner was placed on Legion Parkway. If you want to sh share with what the banner program is and your sure. efforts right now to get Brockton designated as a Purple Heart community as well, Certainly. just two wonderful things that you ran point on. Thank you, Mayor. 
So yes, uh, as, as the mayor has uh, mentioned, uh, for a couple of years now I've been uh, trying to get a, a banner program recognition for the high school graduates who commit to uh, four years of active duty service with the uh, armed forces. Brockton High is uh, just a wonderful place for young people to obtain a uh, quality education. And uh, a number of the young people, men and women both, uh, join the armed forces. So I have seen in other communities around the Commonwealth uh, the recognition of that and highlighting it. And uh, so that was really the inspiration for uh, undertaking uh, this banner program. So you will see hopefully banners in the next uh, month or so going up um, predominantly on West Elm Street, where I think we'll we'll have an array of them as well as some of the locations that uh, uh, our th main thoroughfares in the city highlighting the 2019 and 2020 graduates of Brockton High School. Uh, many of them who didn't really have uh, great experiences uh, in their graduation ceremonies because, uh, because of, you know, COVID. Um, and as well, we're, we're also going to uh, recognize a, a couple of uh, veterans who uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice who died in the uh, service of their country. One of them, as the mayor mentioned, Elder Fernandez, whose banner is now up at uh, Legion Parkway, very close to the flagpole there. Uh, we had a wonderful ceremony yeah, about uh, a month ago um, celebrating his life. His family was very touched. And hopefully that same uh, response we'll, we'll be uh, receiving from the other families whose uh, uh, young people, uh, graduates, uh, have provided us with photos to put on the banners. Um, the designation as a Brockton uh, as a Purple Heart community, again, uh, is uh, inspired by seeing it in other communities around the Commonwealth. Uh, this uh, this will be uh, followed up by uh, the um, uh, order, military order of the Purple Heart. There's a state commission that is set up to uh, create a trail of Purple Heart communities from Washington, D.C., uh, northward and also spanning out from uh, the nation's capital around the, the country, the communities that wish to be designated as Purple Eye communities. So we're in the process of uh, going through that right now. And uh, the mayor is graciously going to uh, host a reception for the families who uh, will participate in that uh, ceremony uh, early fall. Yeah, and the city's website, we, uh, we put that, we just did a post recently to, to attract uh, and inform and educate uh, another thing that you and I was a city councilor for 14 years, as you know, and, and you, you helped me on this, is to uh, honor uh, the designated uh, monuments and memorials and parks and squares here in the City of Champions. You've, uh, you've been able to spend some budgeted money to replace the signage for those that, that served mostly World War II, but it, it, it's career as well in yes, Vietnam. Yes, that's and, correct. Um, you know, if, if someone wants to reach out to you, if someone has a loved one that had served um, – is there is there an ability to reach out to you, or if there's a current veteran that hasn't dealt with your wonderful office and wants to reach out, what's the best way, David, to get in touch with you? Well, I'm probably kind of old-fashioned. I love the phone call. I like talking to the person on the phone. Uh, we have email access as well, but um, I just uh, respond much more quickly to a phone call right to my office uh, at 508-580-7850. Uh, and then we're on the city's website too, the phone number. And we really answer the phone. We we don't have yeah, uh, no, voicemail, so true. we do. pick up the phone and uh, uh, write down who calls, and then uh, make sure we call back that person who uh, contacted our office. So we're just really blessed that we have that capacity to uh, return phone calls directly and talk to the person who's uh, interested in in whatever service uh, we can avail them of. Thank you very much. And yes. again, I want to just thank you, David, for your, your service to our nation, sure. your service on questionable service to the city of Brockton. Thank you, you're man. a man of faith. You're a man of principle and honor. And I, I really respect you and I consider you a friend. So thank you for thank what man. you do every day. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, I thank you for taking the time today. Certainly. Uh, again, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. This is the 26th episode of Our Brockton. It was an honor and privilege to have Mr. Dave Farrell here today to be my guest, my co-host, I'll say. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you again soon on the 27th, 27th episode. Be well, stay safe, and continue to fight the, uh, the diligence of... Uh, of COVID-19. Thank you.